My message to the people is today that we are fed up of the lack of representation. For far too long, our people have voted in Labour Party candidates and got nothing other than silence. For far too long, our people have had to sit back while millions of our brothers and sisters are being slaughtered at the hands of these butchers and the Labour Party is the facilitator and the person who is party to this genocide. I have decided to stand in the whole Green Mosley constituency because of the lack of representation. And I am not just standing since last year, 2023. For those of you who know me, I've been on the front line since 2018, risking my own life to de defend my people. Whether it was standing against the BJP extremists, whether it's challenging age appropriateness in our schools, whether it's the Kashmir issue, whether it's the nitrous ox is uh, oxide issue, I have always been on the front line at my own cost and I will continue to speak for the part of my people, inshallah, on the 4th of July. Inshallah. Lend me your vote and not only your vote, lend me your trust to take forward your voices in the cartels of power and hold these yes men to account. Well, my foreign policy is quite clear. Foreign policy in regards to most of us who are standing here is quite clear. We stand against genocide. When it comes to local issues, you can see how our areas have been deprived. You can see how we have beggars and pe vulnerable people sitting at every traffic light. You can see the potholes that we have and you might say the potholes are insignificant. But when a man who is working hand to mouth and his vehicle falls into a pothole and he has to consider between repairing his car and feeding his family, this is a big problem for our community. Not only that, look at the crime rate in our community. Look at the lack of policing. Look at the child poverty that we have. I will be the voice of the voiceless and I urge every single one of you, you have a right to question me. You have a right to tell me your problems. And if I do not take and I tackle them to the highest corridors, you can hold me to account. So we are here today at the launch of... Brother Shaquille Afsar's um, campaign in Hall Green. The response has been awesome. Let me tell you something. The people are fed up. Of course they're fed up with the Gaza issue. But when you look at what's happening around us in the inner city areas, when the child poverty rate is over 50%, unemployment is double the national minimum average, what have the Labour politicians done for us in Birmingham? I don't see nothing happening. But come 4th of July, you will see new independent MPs in Birmingham and you will see work happening. Yes, we have to clean some mess because of what they've done over the years and the decades. But we will get around to you, remember that, because we are here for the people and not profit. Remember Why that. they should vote for us? Because they can't vote for a party that was silent when thousands of children, never mind the adults, thousands of children were slaughtered, beheaded, mass graves discovered. The Labour politicians were silent. We are here, we are speaking, we have been speaking up for the plight of the Palestinians for years, not just for now. You will see the Labour politicians now start talking about Palestine and ceasefire because election is around the corner. I warned everyone about this before. That's why I did the mayor election. I wanted to see their reaction. I know exactly they, how they are. A leopard never changes their spots. So we have boycotted Labour from Birmingham. Remember that? Any issue in this election, but it is the issue because people of justice across Birmingham and across the country feel pain at the suffering of the Palestinians in Gaza. However, there are many, many issues locally that Labour have failed us on. We have one in three children in Birmingham living in poverty. We have a housing crisis in Birmingham. We have a crime crisis in Birmingham. And Labour have done nothing to help our community. The city of Birmingham is coming for every single one of their seats. For far too long, our communities have sat back with lack of representation. And I urge you to give your support to all three of us and we will be the voice for the voiceless. For those of you in Hall Green, who are you voting for? Shakira! For those of you in Ladywood, who are you voting for? Ahmed For those of you in Yardley, who are you voting for? Thank you.